Right here we are, we just got to Paco in beautiful Costa Rica. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh shit. Hola, foodie friends. How would you spend a day on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica? Well, I'll be spending a day indulging in unique culinary experiences, starting with the wholesome breakfast, then lunch by the beach, and ending the journey at... Well, I won't spoil it. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Deciding on breakfast here in Hako isn't hard, with plenty of healthy and delicious options around. Oh yeah, all that edginess is hot. In this video, I'll be kicking things off in the green room for a Costa Rican twist on my favorite classic English breakfast, the Eggs Betty. That's the winner. As I was saying, egg is perfectly poached, very nice. They use good eggs, free range, healthy yolks. The tree is all super flavorful, really good house-made stuff. The bread is on like a sourdough loaf and the, the hollandaise, it's perfect. The hollandaise is like a nice spicy, yeah, you can taste all the spice and herbs in the hollandaise. It's one of the better uh, eggs I've had in my life. It's really good. Excellent. And there's a little baby potato that's uh, yeah, like fingerling is awful. All right, let me go back to this bad boy. This holiday is nice, thick, eggy, yolky, but yeah, I just can't get over this uh, sausage here. It's really, really good. All right, guys, going in with that cut again. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh shit, look at that ooze. Looks amazing. Cheers, guys. Oh, hold up, I need, I need some more of that egg. Oh yeah, that's the winner. Chipotle hollandaise, who would have thought? This is a great sauce. Mm. I love how they incorporate a little bit of the uh, Latin American flavors into the egg betty with the chorizo, house made, and of course the chipotle hollandaise. Great stuff. I'm just gonna slowly kill this. We'll see you guys at the next spot. For lunch, I'll head up to the restaurant at Selena Hostel. We went with the classic cassado. First, we have a fried fish filet and a shrimp and rice combo. All right, guys, so here we go with the cassado. This is a, the fish one. Pretty basic, panko breaded fish filet with some rice, salad, and uh, plantains. And here we go. My cassado was shrimp. Where's the shrimp? Right there, barely any. But I think it's like mixed into there. Maybe like a shrimp fried rice. And then, of course, fries, salad on the side. I won't dive too deep. These dishes are pretty consistent across Costa Rica. So yeah, let's move on to the next. After the sun sets, the music turns up and it's time to check out a local pub for this bad boy. There you go, how's it going guys? So right now I'm at a place called Gallo Pinto. I hope it's not too loud because it's, uh, it's after 10 o'clock. Not too much open right now, except this bar, pub, local place, karaoke night, loud AM. So, first off, what's crazy? Let's get in on this. It looks like a coconut cream soup with a lot of seafood. And a nice little pepper here. Top it off. Got some uh, squash as well. Rings of clam, mussels, crab, fish. Everything looks amazing. So let's go in with this bad boy. All right, going in with the first bite. I'm just going to go in with some of the fish, prawns. Oh, yeah. Sorry, this table is a little wobbly. Oh, shit. Wow. Very rich seafood flavor. Very good seafood broth. A little bit of coconut milk in there. That, uh, give it a little creaminess to it. Oh, but all, overall, all in all, this is a very good deep seafood broth. Very clean, a lot of seafood flavors. Not in like a fishy way or anything, but a very nice sweet seafood flavor. Got some of the thyme. Got some of that fresh thyme in there for some uh, nice little herbs. Oh yeah. And of course, it's accompanied by some uh, 
rice with uh, shredded carrots and uh, beets. Oh wow, the <coughs> veggies are nice and soft. How it should be in the soup. Ooh, it's hot. I love that cool there. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted something not too heavy, something a little light, something warm in the belly before I go to sleep. So glad I found this place. Let me try some of the other seafood in here. So I had some of the razor clam. There's some of the fish on its own. Dark meat, white meat, fish. Oh yeah, that's good. Not overcooked, not dry. Still tender, soft, not flaky, but still moist. Which is good. Because sometimes when you make soup and you boil fish too long, it just becomes like a, it just becomes very fibrous and just, you know, it's like canned tuna or something. Not so good. Then I got some octopus here. Oh yeah, good octopus. Soft, chewy, not rubbery, tender. I mean, it's a small clam. This is really all for a uh, flavor of the soup, but let's see how much meat I can get out of it. Oh yeah. For a little bit of meat you get, it is actually quite sweet. It is worth the work, as crab usually is. Yeah, I don't know. To me, I always think uh, crab meat is like so much better than uh, lobster meat. More work, but the meat that you get in there is always so much sweeter. Amazing. All right, guys, I'm just gonna slowly devour this, but check back in a sec for my little outro. That's it for today's video, but that's not the end of my journey here in Hako. Stay tuned for the next video. We're on the Pacific coast, so you know we have to do a seafood tour. See you at the next spot.